you, brother. In the most testing times, the strongest bonds can be forged. And so it is for Schwab Ghani and the man who saved his life. I can't thank you enough, you know. Including me, everybody would have been dead if it was not for you. Uh, thank you, brother. Thank you. I can't imagine how much courage it takes to run on a heavily armed gunman. It has to be really crazy for do that, to do that. Or possess nerves of steel on New Zealand's Day of Terror. When Abdul Aziz came face to face with the gunman, with only one means of defense at hand, a credit card machine to take the mosque's weekly collection. When he starts swearing at me at that time, I knew he was the gunman. Then that credit card the machine I had in my hands, I just throw at him. And uh, then he just managed to get his uh, rifle from the car and he starts shooting at me. Inside the mosque by then, a vision of hell was unfolding. Then a gunshot came in from the left window in, dropping one man down. He's shooting and shooting and I knew that it's hitting people around me. And then it's the moment I see my friend dead, my other friend got shot in the shoulder, a few people dead with clothes on their body, and our imam was crying with a dead body in his hand. That's when Abdul grabbed one of the gunman's discarded weapons and tried to turn it on him. I just picked that shotgun and pulled the trigger. There was no bullet in it. I don't know what to do. I just ran from the back and I was swearing, yelling at him with the shotgun in my hands. He just dropped his gun there and uh, ran, and I just chased him. And that time I can see the frightness on his eye. He's scared. With his own shotgun, no bullets, we chase him. We chase him like a dog. Seven people died at the Linwood Avenue Mosque, but there were 80 worshippers that day, men, women and children and most of them lived. Abdul Aziz. Today, New Zealand's Prime Minister called him a hero. He risked his life and no doubt saved many with his selfless bravery. Do you think you're a hero? No, I'm not a hero, no, my friend. The heroes, those people, they got killed and they got injured. They're the real hero. So many lives lost and one lifelong friendship made. John Ray, ITV News, Christchurch.